In today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a method I use called dodge and burn. Dodge and burn is a technique used during the printing process to manipulate the exposure of selected areas on a photographic print, deviating from the rest of the image's exposure. In a darkroom print from a film negative, dodging decreases the exposure for areas of the print that the photographer wishes to be lighter, while burning increases the exposure to areas of the print that should be darker. So I'm going to start off by going to my curves adjustment selecting this little hand and I'm going to find the lightest spot on the image I'm working on and I'm just going to click and pull up to brighten the image and we're going to rename this layer dodge we're going to press command I to invert it Then we're going to do the same thing. Click on our curves and select a darker part of the face. And click and then drag to darken. We're going to double click and rename burn. And then command I to invert. So to begin, I'm going to click my brush and select white. I'm going to turn the hardness down and make my size around four or five hundred. To make quite a big brush. Uh, my opacity and my flow is low because I don't want the impact to be as harsh. So then I'm going to just go over the lighter areas to kind of define them more. I'm just going to keep lightly doing some brush strokes right here on the cheeks a little bit down the nose and as I'm going I'm changing the size of my brush for the different facial features so you don't want to forget about the rest of the body. You can even use this to lighten the eyes. and the makeup and sometimes I even like to do it under the brow just to define it a little bit and in the corners of the eyes alright so now I'm going to move on to my burn and I'm still going to have white selected and I'm just going to go over the areas I want to darken and define so I'm going to do her cheekbones I'm also going to use this to darken up her eyebrows. Oops. If you want it to be a little more intense, you can change the opacity and the flow of your brush. Okay. 
This is also a great tool to use to define some makeup. And go back to my dodge. And brighten the eyes up a little bit. Guess my look overall. And I'm thinking it looks pretty nice. What I want to do, maybe even darken her hair up a little bit. So I'm going to go to my burn layer. Turn the opacity of this down. And just darken her roots up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to select both the burn and the dodge. I'm going to drag them into this little folder and I'm going to rename this dodge and burn. So what I'm going to do now is toggle this on and off so you can see the difference that just doing this simple technique has made. And the best part about this is if you feel you know a certain part is too intense you can just click on burn perhaps and just lower the amount and kind of play around with it until you're happy. Also do the same thing with dodge. Another thing you can do is um, select the burn layer and set your blending mode to multiply. This will really darken the shadows. And that is my technique of doing dodge and burn. There are many ways to do this. Um, this is just the way I like to do it um, that I found to be the fastest and most efficient. So I hope you've learned something and I hope that you are able to apply this to your workflow to really take your images to the next level.